Welcome back to Freedom Finance with Lanny, guys. Thanks for checking in with me on this lovely Sunday. Today is going to be all about the milestone, the big milestone that I've been waiting for, that hopefully some of you guys have been waiting for. Can't wait to dive in to talk about it. Not just that, though, but kind of where I started, how long it's taken to get to this point, as well as what do I plan on doing going forward, guys? And yes, this is the 1,500 shares of Vanguard's High Dividend Yield ETF VYM, guys. So grab your favorite beverage, your beer, your liquor, your coffee. Get that espresso rolling because you're Italian this weekend, guys. And let's dive in into me crossing 1,500 shares of Vanguard's VYM. Let's get it. So 1,500 shares, guys. I'll throw up some screenshots because part of what I own is on the Ally Invest platform. All of my wife's VYM is on her Ally Invest platform, but obviously I have been buying for the last about 18 plus months on the SoFi investing app. So I have two pieces on two different investing platforms, but my wife's is all on Ally. Again, I buy my, you know, my VYM automatically on SoFi, so feel free to check that link in the description and get yourself some free stock, guys. Um, and by the way, subscribe to this channel, guys. Like this video. I usually only ask sometimes at the very end of the video. Sometimes I forget, but you know, feel free to juice up this channel a little bit, guys, as we have these heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So I've been buying VYM for a couple of days, right? Now, maybe a couple of weeks, couple of months, couple of years, four years and one month in the making, guys, 49 months, dating back to July of 2020, the good old pandemic year is when I started buying VYM every single week, started with me, then about a few weeks, maybe a month into it, we started it with my wife, and I was doing about three shares of VYM per week back then, and then my wife was doing actually about two shares of VYM per week. And then, you know, I think a year to two years later, I continued my three shares and then we increased my wife to two shares, to three shares. And obviously it's just moving pieces, right? When you think about it, we do a lot of individual stock investing. So we've been reducing the amount we've been buying in individual stocks and we've been buying pretty much Vanguard ETFs right now trying to get that allocation up in the overall taxable stock portfolio to 50% right now. We're just over 22%, you know, at what's called just shy of 23% at the time of this video. Ultimate goal is to reduce the individual stock exposure and just kind of simplify the individual taxable account quite a bit, guys, but VYM. So in total, we did cross 1,500 shares. You know, in fact, time of this video, as I quickly check it out, because there's actually a section in my Google Sheets, which, you know, I've got like 25 tabs in my investing net worth, budget, you know, down payment, house tracker, spreadsheet, ton of tabs here. And, you know, we track this one specifically. And we're at 1,510 shares um, outstanding on Vanguard's VYM, guys. So we actually have crossed it officially this last week, um, actually about a week and a half ago. And now it's just compounding and we've been adding just a little bit more. You know, again, I wanted to lead that all into this video here. So for 49 months, if that's not consistent, you know, again, that's the magic to investing. Stay consistent, stay disciplined, stick to the strategy, stick to the plan. Now, you know, again, some may say, well, you're missing out on a lot of gains. Yeah, you're right. You know, missing out on a lot of gains with the S&P 500, with tech, you know, with Bitcoin or whatever else you want to name it with PSA graded cards over here. Yeah, missing maybe more gains out there in the market. Hey, VYM's up about 50% in the last five years. I'm okay with that. Average growth rates between six and 8% on the dividend. I'm okay with that. Dividend yields usually over 3%. I'm okay with that. And again, I think it's just all about now the personal finance side, right? Because my strategy is going to be different than your strategy. Because for you to benefit from the big appreciations, you have to sell and you have to, you know, then do something with the capital afterwards, etc. You know, my goal is to, you know, reach financial freedom earlier and to benefit from the dividend income that the dividend portfolio provides. So 
That's why I go into VYM to get the dividend yield, to get the dividend growth, because, you know, I don't know, somewhere in the near term, hopefully I'll be hitting that financial freedom button and living off of this dividend income without having to move assets from, you know, different ETFs or different stocks to try to get the income that I currently wouldn't have if I kept waiting and waiting and waiting on that appreciation, guys. Um, so here we are, 49 months later, 1,500 shares, guys. You know, again, I already talked about about two years into it, we kind of raised my wife up to three shares. So we were doing about six shares a week. And then early on in 2023, when I really got pummeled into the SoFi investing app, you know, again, it is so easy. I've put out videos on how to automate everything on SoFi's investing app. You know, just to really, I get paid, it automatically goes into the savings and it automatically buys my ETFs, some every single day like VO and VIG but then some every single week like VYM. So come you know around early in 2023, not only was I, I then tran transitioned mine into $300 every Monday into my SoFi app on VYM. But then I was like, you know what? Let's go a little bit harder. So then every Wednesday I've been doing pretty much an extra $150 into VYM. So two times a week I buy VYM. So about $450 a week of VYM for me and then my wife has been buying the three shares every single Monday. So, you know, we're doing close to, you know, call it $750, $800 every single week, you know, into VYM nonstop religiously here, guys. And that's what's really been juicing up, this up because you're, you're thinking, gosh, it's probably six to seven shares every single week. And heck, when that dividend comes around every quarter, buying up more shares because I have dividend reinvestment turned on vym paying quarterly obviously so in total you know i'm going to throw this up there on the screen too so you can see the cost the market value and the income but in four years we've been able to save and invest over a hundred forty thousand dollars of our own money again across four years you guys already know that we have probably between a 60 to 80 percent savings rate again low cost mortgage low cost of living period you know try to move as much into saving and investing in as much as possible it's worth about 187 thousand from looking at the spreadsheet here so up about 41 grand on that 146 thousand and change uh, so feel pretty good about that forty thousand dollar appreciation that we've you know experienced <laughs> it's kind of weird saying it like that um you know it's projected to earn almost fifty four hundred dollars in dividends Look at that, the sun's coming through because right now, you know, I'm in front of a window. The sun is liking what we're throwing down here, guys. That's $448 of income per month right now. $448 easily pays for maybe the property taxes um, every single month. Maybe it pays for a, a car in case we ever need to get one. But either which way, this Vanguard ETF is paying for something pretty substantial in our life uh, already. And it's not over yet. And we're still in our mid-30s, right? So per quarter, almost $1,350, guys. And because we have dividend reinvestment on, if everything stays current, current prices, every quarter we're actually dripping almost 11 shares. And that 11 shares is adding almost another $39. So that's adding every single quarter, guys. Even if we stopped, you know, we pretty much would be adding 44 shares. If we stopped investing and just let reinvestment and growth happen, we're adding, you know, again, close to, you know, well over 40 shares a year in a VYM. If we just turn this thing on autopilot and completely stopped investing, um, you know, again, you know, right now it's up about 10% this year, while the S&P 500 is up a little over 17%. So there is that disparity, um, you know, with the unrealized gains from the S&P 500. Little frame of reference for all you SEHD shareholders out there. SEHD is up only 6.9 ish percent this year. I'll throw it up on the screen just so everybody gets an idea of where the market's at, VYM is at, and SEHD. So, guys, here we are 1,510 shares, four years in. I was consistent. We were disciplined in our habits, and we're trying to automate all of this right now, guys. So, what's next for us? Hmm. Well, we're gonna keep it rolling. We're letting the dice roll, guys. You know, I think the next milestone for this will probably hit 200,000 in market value. You know, that would be like the next big thing here for Vanguard's VYM. 
maybe a quarter million would be the next one after that or 2,000 shares. Obviously, whichever one comes first, right, based on stock price, guys. So what have you guys been doing that's as consistent and disciplined as this? Because that's kind of where I recommend you know, you do for your investing is staying consistent, staying disciplined, because I guarantee it you'll get to whatever you're trying to get to on a personal finance goal and adventure standpoint, guys. So let me know in the comments what you think about me achieving this milestone of 1,500 shares of VYM. Let me know what your milestones are and what you're about to celebrate hopefully soon, guys. Again, like the video, subscribe to this channel, and I will catch you on the next one.